But the thing is, is that humans can't do it perfectly randomly. So these two things that humans do of repeat if they win and change if they lose can be exploited. So you can change just the, the completely mixed strategy, it's called, and, um, and exploit the, the patterns in human behaviour. This obviously is helpful after one game. How do we start? What do we do in the first game? <laughs> well, OK, so apparently uh, most people, because rock feels really powerful, um, most people play rock in the first instance. So there was a guy called um, Bob the Rock um, who uh, won the 2006 World Rock Paper Scissors Championship, of course. Because he was called Bob, Bob the Rock, uh, people assumed that he would play rock first. Uh, and so played paper. So he just went in and played scissors and managed to get through a number of rounds just by using that tactic straight off. So knowing that most people play rock because it's really strong and powerful, you can employ that same strategy um, of going in and playing paper unless you think your opponent is likely to have thought that through, in which case you'd play scissors. <laughs> do, you <laughs> play rock, do you play rock, paper, scissors much? <laughs> not really, probably not since I was about 10. Should we have one go? Yeah, go on then. Ready? On, on, the yeah. on three, you yeah. ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, yes! I won. <laughs> you played rock! I know, but I thought, because I just said that, that then you'd think I was going to play, well, you'd play scissors, then I could play rock and I Do you know what my strategy was? Uh. I just didn't even think about it. <laughs> also, apparently, there was um, a, a Japanese television equipment company who um, had uh, $20 million worth of artwork, for some reason, and decided to auction it off. Um, but they couldn't choose between Sotheby's and Christie's. They're two auction houses, they auction artworks. Um, uh, and obviously they get a, a serious commission on the $20 million. Um, they couldn't choose between the two houses, so they uh, decided to make them play a game of rock, paper, scissors uh, to decide the outcome. Now the way that it worked was that um, Christie's, went through that logic of uh, most people think rock is the most powerful, so they will play paper, therefore I'm going to play scissors. Um, Sotheby's, just like you did, <laughs> thought, I'm not going to think about this, it's random, and just played paper and lost. Um, but the thing is, I guess with this stuff, especially um, in a game theory sense, one game doesn't mean anything. It's about how things sort of change and evolve over time in a long, long game. When um Christie's and Sotheby's did that. Did the two representatives have to meet and play like we just did? Or did they, yeah. put, they didn't put it like in a sealed envelope or something? I don't think so. I think I like to think they met anyway, but they, I know that they had a week to think about it. Well, there is another version of this game. So obviously rock, paper, scissors only having three. Um, there is another one which is called rock, paper, scissors, Spock, lizard. Oh, so that's like a Vulcan thing you made there. <laughs> yeah. Spock. I actually had to practice that. <laughs> Spock and lizard. Yeah. Okay, so what happens is Spock, no wait, Spock uh, obviously vaporises the rock, goes without saying, um, and it smashes the scissors, yeah, um, but it is disproved by paper, which I quite like as, <laughs> as an extra result. Um, but also the lizard is crushed by the rock, unfortunately, um, and decapitated by the scissors, um, but it does eat the paper. <laughs> so, and, what, and what about lizard versus Spock? Uh, lizard poison Spock. There we go. But so, the, the nice thing about this one, as opposed to some other examples where you have, I don't know, dynamite or whatever, um, which just obliterates everything, I suppose, um, is that it ends up being um, perfectly cyclic again. So uh, each thing wins and loses to the same number of items. Do you need an odd number? To yes, you do, yeah. So you, in this case, you win against two and lose against two. Orange loses to yellow but beats blue. Then the blue lizards who lose to orange, um, they can't, uh, they, the, the yellow lizard has, has no way of attacking their females because they're really closely guarded. 